Hi. Hi friends. Today we are going to learn how to draw the use case diagram with the help of uh, rational rules. Uh, today we are going to take the example for the library management system. In this system if you will see we are having registration, search book, issue book and membership status. These are the four use cases and there is one database which will store the database about the library and one actor is student and another actor is admin these are actually three actors one actor which is database we are saying that this actor is uh, without any attribute and without any operation okay, we are calling it uh, that static actor this actor is actually physical actor it is not doing any activity it's just it's storing the data and uh, sending the data it's simply a database to start uh, this use case diagram we will go to the IBM rational rules open the software we are using version 7.0 for drawing the use case uh, use case diagram just click on the cancel button next go to the use case view right click on this one use case view in uh, rational rows as we discussed in the previous uh, previous uh, tutorial we are having four uh, views use case view logical view component view and deployment view we are today we are going to develop the use case diagram for the library management system click on the use case diagram just right here LMS that is library management system after that click on this one double click on this one uh, this will open one uh, diagram window will open which is having use case diagram which is inside the use case view and the name of the file is diagram is LMS okay and the diagram associated with the use case diagrams are here icons now we will start from the use case we are having four use case in our diagram registration search book issue book membership status the first one is registration just click on this one write the name registration next second one is search book and issue book make this one search book the third one is issue book the fourth use case of the library management system is membership status these use cases are finished now we will go for the actor we are having one actor that is a student this is active actor it's actually class it's having the attributes and operation also next actor is database or library management system database and the third actor is admin the person who will control the software before starting uh, as we display in the diagram the active actor uh, and the static actor we are having the database as a physical actor so we need to store a uh, we need to suppress the attributes and operation of the this actor for that purpose what we will do just right click on the database actor go to the option from the option go to the suppress attribute its meaning is that we are removing the attributes associated with the database again go to the option right click on the database actor and click on the suppress operation okay now this actor is without any attribute and without any operation now again go to the option 
this time we will go to the stereotype display and select the label okay we can increase or decrease the size of the our icon now in this diagram as we discussed in the previous section uh, that we were having the generalization and dependency but in this uh, we are we don't have any generalization and dependency for the library management system just click on the student and drop to the registration a student can search the book also a student can apply to issue the book also a student can apply to check the membership status also okay database is associated only with registration and search book so database is associated with registration and search book admin is using the use case issue book as well as membership status just drag and drop the arrows from use case to the actor or actor to the use case now uh, if you will see here we are having some arrows with bidirectional okay so its meaning is that this is the data flow from where data is coming and where to data is going that is in some cases uh, data is flowing in bi direction for that purpose we can use the arrow again that is now this is from registration to the actor database so the uh, it is showing that your data is bi directional actually when we are making this use case diagram on the paper we are not showing the arrow or direction we are simply just making the line uh, it is uh, understood by the programmer that uh, where is flowing uh, data is flowing from which direction but as a designer when you are making the design we should take care about this thing what is the flow of the data okay. now search book is also bi directional we are assuming the search book it will return some result so uh, we are making it bi directional it's up to you uh, what is your use case diagram you can make this one for the issue book you can make also bi directional okay there is no problem uh, suppose that uh, for the registration first time registration or if it is online registration we can apply here for the login also okay but this is a physical system we are having suggest registration search the book is issue the book and membership status okay these four main use cases we are doing uh, in the library management system this is the top view of the library management system the student is applying for the registration a student is apply is searching the book a student is applying for the issue the book and admin is issuing the book and student is checking his membership membership status okay this is the simplest use case diagram uh, thank you for watching the video uh, you can check your use case that is there any access violation that is validity of use case diagram just click on the access violation so if you will see here it is saying that no access violation found if there is any access violation it will tell you where, where is the problem Okay. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe the videos.